Hey everyone, how are you doing? This week, we're gonna be drawing a family of acorns. You can get your favorite drawing materials out, whether it's a pencil or a crayon or a pen, anything will work. Let's start off with a little bit of stretching as always. Start with your fingers. Then do your wrists. Ooh. And then your shoulders. Roll your shoulders. This week, I'm going to draw with a pencil. And let's start our warm ups. Okay, so let's start small. Let's do pairs of dots. So here's one dot, here's another dot. Here's a little bigger, there's a little bigger. Bigger, bigger. Getting circles now, bigger. Bigger. Oh, my pencil broke. Looks like I'm gonna have to switch, switch it up. I'll go to a crayon. Nothing wrong there. Bigger, 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 bigger. I'm gonna draw those little circles inside and color them in. All of a sudden we have some eyes. Okay. Now, next, I'm gonna do some waves. I'm gonna do it really small though. As small as I can do it. As small as I can do it. Okay, just do some waves. Waves are fun. Do as many as you can. Okay. Whew, feeling good. Next, I'm gonna start to draw dots. Different dots in different places. I'll do two dots to begin with, and then another two dots. And all I'm gonna try to do is connect the dots. So I'll draw a line. I'll draw a line. There's two more dots. I'll draw a line. Okay, now here's a different challenge. I'll draw two dots. Can you draw a curved line? Two dots and a curved line. Two dots and a curved line. Can you do a bigger curve? Bigger dots? Whoa. Look at that. Even bigger. All right. Now, drawing curved lines is really fun. In the beginning, I'm just gonna use my fingers and do these little curves. Next, I'm gonna use my wrist. Then I'm gonna use my elbow. It's okay to draw across your paper. Use the elbow and you'll see. So what I do is I lock my elbow and then I just move my arm. So I lock my elbow and move my arm. So I can make these curved lines. Okay, try that. It's not easy. It takes a lot of practice, but there's not, there's no wrong way to do it either. All right, so we're just drawing these little curves, bigger curves, wherever you can fit it on the paper. Go crazy, all right? All right, lots of curved lines. Okay, if I'm going too fast, you can always pause. Don't forget, you can always pause. Okay, how are you guys feeling? A little warmed up? Ready to draw some acorns? Great. Let's get a new piece of paper out. Lay it down. Let's begin with, hmm. Can we do some dots? So, acorns, I love drawing acorns. 
Um, acorn, acorns are from oak trees. And I live in the city of Oakland. So there's a lot of oak trees around. Sometimes you find them on the ground, lying around. Acorns have two parts to them, right? They have a cap and then they have the seed. So to make it easy, let's draw these two separate parts. So I'm gonna do the same thing we did in the warm up, and I'm just gonna draw a dot, but I'm not gonna draw it too dark. Don't get ahead of yourselves. Just gonna kind of put a dot lightly on the page. Do you see that? It's so tiny. All right. Now, from the dot, I'm gonna draw two other dots. One to the left and one to the right, higher above. Do you see that? Okay. Now here's the nifty part. I'm gonna connect from this dot to that dot, a curved line, all right? So here we go. Go with me, starting here, and I'm just gonna curve that line. All right? Now, on the other side, and this is what you could do, look. You could turn your paper if you want the other way, and you could Curve that line. It's easier for me to draw curves this way. So turning the paper helps me. All right, let's put it back. Now, which part do you think that is? Is that the seed or the cap? Well, if you guess the seed, you're right. Next, let's draw a line across. So I'm gonna put a dot here and a dot here. And just do a little bit of an arc, All right? Do you know what part we're drawing now? If you guess the C, the cap, you're right. So the cap part, again, if this is, I'm gonna measure, see my crayon here? This side to this side, this part of the crayon shows me, if I hold it right there from the bottom of the acorn to here, that's my measuring tool. See that? That makes it double the height. Just below that, I'm gonna draw two little dots, okay? And I'm gonna go from the end of this to the top of this, or sorry, from the top of this down to the bottom. And again, I'm gonna do the same thing here. From here, the opposite, I'm gonna go and draw that. You guys see it? What are we missing? A little stem maybe? So I'm just gonna draw a little stem. Pretty neat. Now, here's the fun part. Do you remember those waves we drew? These guys? We could put it inside the cap. I'm just gonna do rows of them. Okay. Then I like to put a face on my acorn. So I'm gonna do two dots for eyes, all right? And you could put them anywhere, but I'm gonna put them one right here and one right here. And in between that, I'll put a little mouth. And if you want, you can put little feet. Hey, everybody. And a little hand. Hey, everybody. Hello, he's saying hi. Maybe I'll give him some cheeks. I'm gonna get into my box of crayons and get some reds, maybe some greens. And 
maybe some browns. And I'm just gonna have fun coloring. First, I'm gonna give him some cheeks. I like to just draw little circles. Little circles, his cheeks. And maybe I'll color his body kind of green. I'm not gonna try to be super careful. I'm just gonna sort of color it all in, the seed part of him. Yeah, with different greens, I have different greens. Just try to color inside the lines as much as I can. But I'm not gonna try to fill everything. And then the browns, I color his top. And with the browns, I like to do some, maybe some of them are different colors. I'll fill it in a little bit more. There's no right or wrong way, just having fun. Maybe even darken some of them even more. Even the black maybe I'll take and fill in some. like a checkerboard hat. Color this part in. And that's pretty cool, little guy. Hey, you do even a smaller acorn. Can you think you could do it again? Here's a different way of drawing an acorn. How about if we draw a circle? So I'm just gonna ghost a little circle. I'm gonna draw a circle. And then I'm going to draw a line across halfway and draw another circle like that. And do a little stem. Same thing, I'm going to do the little waves across. Okay? And I'm going to draw his eyes his mouth. And maybe this guy, I'm gonna color. Hmm. Maybe yellow. So I'm gonna get some of my yellows out and just color. Color it in. Don't worry if it smudges a little bit. I'm gonna give him little rosy red cheeks. Maybe that same brown. I do his cap. Different colors. Color it in. What am I missing? I'm missing his little feet. Okay, and what if we did hmm, another little acorn, but this time, what if we drew a line first? And then from there, let's turn the paper upside down. Do you know, do you know the letter U? Do you guys know that letter? It looks something like, it looks something like this, the letter U. Well, we're just gonna take this curved part and draw it like this. Okay? We turn it back around and draw a little stem. We could do our little waves. This one's so tall. And let's put a dot right here. And I'm gonna 
really curved lines. And do, instead of dots, what if I did little smiley eyes? Doot, doot. Oh. Ooh, I like those. Little legs. And she's so excited. Yay! Hello! And let's color her. Little rosy cheeks. And what if I made her my daughter's favorite color? Pink! Yay! I know acorns might not be pink everywhere, but these are our acorns and we can make them any color we like. I'm gonna make her cap purple. That's silly. Well, I'm having fun. Maybe some blue. Mixed in. How fun is that? And let's see, for her, I could put her shadow here. And look at that, she's floating off the ground. He's on the ground and he's on the ground. So you can have all sorts of fun as long as you draw a cap whoop, with a line and a seed part. Whoop. You can have as much fun as you want. Drawing all sorts of different kinds of acorns. Yay! All right, everyone, that's our little family of acorns. Hope you had a good time. Keep drawing, and we'll see you next time. All right, everyone, bye.